problem goes like this. 200 students are there in a class. So, in 200 students, that is belonging to 6th and 7th class, were asked to name their favorite color. All the students were asked to name it. That means they are asked which, which color is your favorite color. Then they have given some data that should be represented in paragraphs. Now, for example, assume the two properties what we should know now is the favorite color and the number of students who has voted for that particular color. Now, I am taking the favorite colors such as red, green, blue, yellow and orange and the number of students are 43, 19, 55, 49, 54, 34. That means 43 students has given a vote to red color and 19 students for green color and 55 students for blue and 49 for yellow and 34 for orange. This is the table of information given to us. Now we have to plot this on a bar, on a graph sheet with the help of bar diagrams. Now which is the most performed preferred color and which is the least preferred color? We have to find out two questions here. The first question is the most favorite or most preferred color. That is how many majority number of students who has preferred the color. That, that color name we should identify. And the least preferred color that should be identified. And the second question is how many colors are there in all water day? That is total how many colors are there and what are all those things. Those all should be plotted with the help of the bar. First we have to take the scale as it has said previously. Now the scale, let us assume this is a vertical line that is y axis and this is a horizontal line that is x axis and this is as origin that is bisecting point of two perpendicular lines and now we will be seeing that on x axis we are plotting the color, on y axis we are plotting the number of students. So we have to take the scale such as one unit to 10 students on y axis and one unit equals to one color on x axis. So I have taken, see first we have to assume how many students are there that is among 43, 19, 55 and 49, 34. 55 is the highest number of students right. We have to take a scale greater than 55 and so let, let it be 60. Now I have taken the greatest scale 60 that is 10 to units per centimeter that is 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 and on x axis I have taken all the colors that is red, green, blue, yellow and orange. Now we have to plot the graph based upon the number of students. Now 43 students have voted for red color. See, now I have taken this as red, the first unit. Now 43 students means we have to go up to 40 and next There are 10 scales, right? 10 points. And now we have to go with 43rd point, that is 3 points here. This is 43. And we have to take exactly one unit. This belongs to red, blue, that is number of students voted for red color. And now let us take green color, that is around 90, that is just below 1 unit of 20.
here we can observe that the questions what here we given is which is the most popular color. Now you can see according to the bar graphs, the highest bar graph is blue. So we will be going for blue is the highest preferred color. And when coming to the least preferred color, it is going for green because it is the lowest bar. You can observe here. See, this is green. This is the lowest bar. So lowest preferred color is green. And highest preferred color is blue. Now, how many colors are there? How many colors? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 colors are there. And what are they? That is red, green, blue, yellow and orange. Hope you are clear with the question. Means first we have to take the data. What is given in the table form into a bar diagram. And then we have to analyze the questions and we have to find out the answers. Yes. 
play a die, you will be getting six options. That is either one, two, three, four, five, and six. So there are six chances. So the probability of getting one among these six chances is one by six. When coming to a coin, it is one by two because there is only two options. That is head of tail for a coin, right? When coming to a die, it is six options. So we will be saying that there is a chance of one by six for each segment to come and one by two for each segment in a coin. Now let us see. Here I have tossed a coin. I have played with a die. Now number of times I have tossed the coin that is here I know. Thank you. 